it's a bit more of a white glove operation due to the fact that you are dealing with a finished painted product so you don't want to damage it you know you don't want to get rowdy with it um, you want to make sure you take your time and assemble it finished The final assembly will just be of each individual sub-assembly. We won't have the entire conveyor bolted up post-paint um, unless we're doing a full assembly test run on it. Typically, the sub-assemblies are your drive section, your terminal station, on a bucket of your, your discharge head or your boot, and then in little trunking sections, uh, screw conveyor, same type of thing. If we can minimize that cost for the client, we will. If it makes sense for us to ship the conveyor fully assembled, two sections, you know, half, uh, to allow for easier installation or minimize the amount of field labor that's involved, that's something we try to focus on too. When you call CDM or when a customer calls CDM after they've had an equipment for a decade or 15 years and you get Kevin on the end of the line and you give him an equipment number from a conveyor that was built 15 years ago and he can recall what job that went to or what project it went to, um, yeah, it, it's you don't have to say, hey, I need this specific chain. No, I need the chain for this conveyor, and we'll get you what you need. There's an efficiency there that is pretty hard to, to garner with a larger firm. There's always a sense of accomplishment when a project is completed. The fact that we aren't dealing with commodity-based equipment, it, it, like I said, it's, it, we aren't building something that's the same every time. Everything's unique to that specific client or that specific application. So absolutely, there's a sense of accomplishment, and especially even more so when, than when it leaves, when it's installed and operating and the customer calls back and says we're happy.